morning YouTube brothers and sisters um, just a short little video here sorry I haven't been on for a while my phone wasn't working now I guess I guess the video card thing is gonna work now it was lagging really bad before anyway um, I just want to come on and say good morning tell you all that I love you I want to throw a little bit of praise to the Lord um, God is good you guys I think as believers in the Lord, we really don't, maybe comprehend, we don't comprehend who God is, um, maybe we just don't believe what, you know, what the scriptures tell us in the good book here, I mean, God is, is, his promises are real, he's real. And um, personally, I've seen so many times, just since coming to the Lord here in the last two and a half years or so, He just answers prayer. He just does. Um, not every time exactly the way a person is asking it, I suppose, you know, because He knows our needs as opposed to our wants. Um, and it might depend on the person you're praying for and other things like that. But I've just seen him answer so many prayers, sometimes really quickly, like sometimes almost instantly. Um, praise report just yesterday, we had a brother who had another brother who was having a, a problem, and we prayed on it, and the problem got solved yesterday. Just like that. Um, well, whether the problem was solved or not, I'm not sure. But the prayer request was answered. And I've seen so many times where our prayer requests have just been answered quickly um, and abundantly. Uh, my son's cat went missing for a week and he, he asked me, will you pray? And, you know, of course I would pray for my boy's kitty and... I prayed a few times, you know, because, I mean, she used to be my kitty too, right? And I thought of Precious out there, and I was, you know, kind of cried out to the Lord a bit there. Fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much was put on my head. And I'm like, you're right, I can pray again. Um, you bet, right? And not, I'm not even kidding. After missing for a week, um, three hours after my son asked me to start praying for the kitty, and actually right as I was praying, talking to God, saying, look, you know, like even, even a little bit one for me, if, you know, I mean, because I want the glory to go to God when he answers these prayers. I don't want it just to be for me, you know, for my emotions, my feelings. Now that time it was for someone else, but they had asked me to pray. And so I was like, okay, well, this would be a good time, right? I mean, not that God didn't already know that, but. You know, in my prayer, I'm like, okay, this would be a good time. You know, it would give the glory to you. He would see that, look, he asked for prayers, you answered. And my phone went ding, ding. Yeah. And so I got up out of bed because I was kind of depressed about the whole situation of the kitty being missing for a week. And I got up from bed, I come out and I looked and here it was my boy. He's texting me back. He's like can't make this up dad so she's missing a week I ask you to pray and three hours later she walks in my door thank you dad and I'm like yeah you're welcome don't thank me thank God he's like I did <laughs> right um, just like that he brought her our kitty home and I've seen him do it so many times with so many different situations that I just wanted to bring hope back to you guys like I know it's tough out there um, the world is getting worse and worse all the time people are putting such scary stuff on the internet guys no fear that's what our father said God is our Heavenly Father when you believe on Christ as your Savior the simple gospel let's drop the simple gospel okay because that's when you're saved and that's God is our Father okay and he said if you believe on my son Jesus Christ 
as being his only begotten son. God manifest, born as a man, okay, in Jesus, <clears throat> that he died on that cross to pay our sin debt, all of mankind's sin debt was paid that day, with his blood atonement. And that he was buried and raised again from the dead three days later, like scriptures described in prophecy. He fulfilled those prophecies. He was raised from the dead after three days in a tomb and ascended to heaven after many, many people see him. If you believe that that is a true story, if you believe that Jesus Christ truly is the Son of God, the Messiah, the Savior, scripture says you're saved. Now, on my personal walk, when I believed that Jesus was the Son, but I believed that I trusted, I had faith that what he did on the cross that day, that's what saved me. Not me. Not I, I, I repent of my sins to be saved. Not that. Yeah, there's repentance. That's part of scripture. It's all over the place. But you repent, you change your thinking about who Jesus is. He's the Messiah. He's the Savior. He died on the cross. Not me, but I died with him. Anyway, the point is, salvation, eternal salvation, eternal salvation, it, it doesn't end, okay, is only gained through knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord. That's it. And it's so simple. Believe on the name of the Lord. You shall be saved. Religion makes it hard, it seems. Um, men want to make it about what they do or what they quit doing. You know, it gives some justification to the individual. We did nothing worthy in the eyes of God. We could never be worthy in the eyes of God, which is why Jesus died for us. He imputed his righteousness upon me. So when God looks down and sees me now, he sees Jesus, not me. And I have the Holy Spirit within me now. And so when I pray, I can pray through the Holy Spirit to God, creator of everything. And people, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. We're talking about God here, guys. He created everything. Everything. He is greater than the cumulation is greater than everything put together God my heavenly father he loved me he loved me so much he died on a cross for me the way Ralph Yankee Arnold says he loves us so much he didn't want to live without us so he died on the cross for us and now we can all live together as one. By grace, through faith, not works, lest any man should boast, right? Now that we know the simple gospel that saves us, believe on Jesus, call on the name of the Lord. If you mean it in your heart and you call on the name of the Lord, He's there. He's going to answer you. It's about faith. It's about believing. It's about faith. All the way back to Abraham. If Abraham didn't have faith, he wouldn't have walked up the hill with that son of his. He didn't take a ram or a goat. He took his son and a knife and some matches. He had faith in God. He trusted God with his own son. God showed up, gave him a ram, and said, no, it's okay. We'll use my son. And that's what he did. And he saves us just for believing. It's really that easy. Or that simple. For some it seems to be very hard. But that's because we live in a world full of lies, indoctrination, teaching us everything except the truth of the Bible. But guys, I just wanted to share that. I want to share how good God is, how powerful God is. And how real he is. He's really real. He's there, guys. He's there for you. Like when you feel so lost, so alone, you can't do it, you can't make it. He can. 
Nothing is impossible with God. He can help you. You don't have to reach out to people or whatever. You can reach out to God and He will help you. He'll put the people in your life that you need. He'll put the answers in front of you that you need to know. Trust Him. That's what it's all about. It's about trusting God. Alright guys, I want to keep this super short. So anyway, I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful day in the Lord.